Man, I want to show people this. Now, these are monkeys, small monkeys, right, and cats. And you had people, um, doctors, experimenting on these creatures, on these animals, right? And they were putting electrodes in their brains and, and doing all sorts of weird things to them, giving them LSD, uh, using different tactics to scare them and stuff, noise. And um, they even had uh, chips they were putting inside these uh, creatures' brains where they would run on their, they could run on radio frequency. They wouldn't even be battery powered. And this was back in the 1950s. This wasn't like in the 80s or the 70s. This was in like 1953, 1954, 1955, 56. And so the research that I'm doing now on gang stalking that deals with um, uh, physiological psychology, behavioral neuroscience, uh, psychophysiology, uh, it cross references with the old MK Ultra programs. And I've broken down my gang stalking courses into uh, three stages confusion stage, distraction stage, sensi sensitization stage, with the audio, uh, people, and objects um, who, part who are participatory in the strategic maneuvers of the gang stalking, um, the audio being natural and non natural noise, covert drug and electronic weapons. So, you know, I've been covertly drugged. I know what it is to go out to a restaurant, eat, and then have your food drugged, and then sit there walking around outside the restaurant thinking, am I going to die? Am I going to pass out? What's happened to me? Like, am, have I just, is my mind gone and it's not coming back? Who put what in my food? What, what drug did I take? Who drugged me and, and what drug did I take? I've been through that several times. Most people will never go through that in their lifetime. So I know exactly what it's like for some of these people who've been through these MK Ultra experiments to have been tested on with drugs or to have electronic weapons used against them. Um, gang stalking is, in MK Ultra uh, are different. They're completely different projects. Most people who go through mind control don't even know they're going through mind control. Gang stalking is really meant to terrorize and just scare an individual using their environment. But at some point, it cross-references because you're talking about color perception, neuro-linguistics, neuro-linguistic programming, color perception, sensitization. So it does cross-reference at some point. But um, you, have to re you have to study into this stuff by these old MK Ultra experiments. And there was a lot of people who pushed for this stuff to come out. This stuff, we're lucky we even have this stuff today, to be honest with you. For you to go get this information and get this knowledge and be able to educate yourself on it, you're very lucky to be able to do that because pe there, there are people who did not want this coming out. There, there are people who actually lost their lives trying to get this information out. There are people in the graveyard right now, dead, never coming back, never ever coming back because they helped to get this information out. So don't take it lightly. Read this information, study it, learn it and learn, learn from it how you can help yourself uh, in your pursuit, if you're being gang stalked in your pursuit to learning more about what's happening to you in your environment. If you're not being gang stalked, you still can learn something from it. But see, now Dr. Delgado is one of my favorite um, doctors when studying the mind control experiment. He worked at Yale. Um, he was a Spaniard and uh, he had some like really, I mean his techniques were really genius. How he had a bull, that he could make a bull move with radio technology and all this. I mean it, it's, you know, it's really interesting stuff. Delgado's experiments with electronic stimulation of the brain and the dilation and constriction of pupils with these monkeys Dilation of the left pupil and constriction of the right pupil by stimulation of the hypothalamus. So you see, he's he he was he was actually changing these creatures, you know, psychologically and physically, and whatnot. And I always tell people, if you're being stalked by a network who has a whole brigade of people with red shirts and bright lights on the cars, uh, people slamming doors on cue playing loud music on cue and stuff, this, this is an attempt to invade somebody's mind. That, that's an invasion. Of, that's, I always tell people, if you're being gang stalked, they're trying to create real estate in your mind. That's an attempt to invade your mind. That's what that is.
to da- to invade your mind and to damage your mind is unconscionable, really. So you got to be on your. That's why. I, that's why I always start people. That's why I, when I first started, after almost a year of being gang stalked, when I first started coming up with my courses, that's why I started approaching the people who were participatory in it and redefining what it meant for me. I knew that people were being financed to do these gang stalking assignments on me, and I wanted to approach these individuals and redefine the situation <clears throat> and use every second, every opportunity I had to d- decide for myself what this encounter means, and I would explain to these individuals what gang stalking is, what their participation is from my perspective, and I would ask them if they could share information. Then I would tell them, I, I would, I'd even tell them, you know, I'd walk up to them and just tell them I beat gang stalking and just start getting into it with them and tell them everything about it and asking them. And that's exactly what you got to do. You redefine what this experience means for you. You have people using psychological harassment against you, attacking you. So you have to redefine the situation and, and take that power back. CIA University connections told by a probe. See this this stuff. People don't see that's that that that's why in 2018 people people are asleep. People gr- have grown up on television on smartphones. People people don't remember the United States of America back when this stuff was going on. I wasn't alive. I was born in '85, but had it not been for my research. Um, that I've, I, you know, I used to really enjoy research in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. People don't understand the people don't understand where they're at. That's part of the problem when you talk to people about gang stalking and things like mind control. They don't understand America, like the like people who've actually researched into these subjects. There's a whole different underflow and undercurrent of of these types of things that have gone on over the years, and people don't have any chronological order on it. They go and they watch a couple of YouTube videos. And they hear a bunch, a couple teenagers in their room, or young adults in their twenties, talking about this stuff, and that's their only interpretation t- into it. They don't know about all the millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars that've been spent. They don't know about all. They they have no clue in the world. So going back and researching this stuff is really going to expand your horizons um, a little bit. Watching some guy like me in my bedroom on YouTube talking about it is, is a really poor introduction into the into the knowledge that's available. You know, into the real stuff. Mind reading machine tells secrets of the brain. And you know, and these aren't tabloids. People, <laughs> I hope people aren't mistaking these for tabloids. This stuff in the Washington Post and whatnot, look at this stuff. Technology in the future, your PC will be connected directly to your brain. This is stuff that's happening right now. I remember I used to sit back for hours and read this kind of stuff. This is a listing of various technology to boggle your mind. This is a listing of various technologies available which can be combined for the use in direct or subliminal mind control systems. Please note that these mainly are private intentions intended for positive uses, but could be applied for negative purposes as well. Wow. Silent subliminal presentation system, hearing system, psychic acoustic projector, Noise generator transmitter method system for altering consciousness. Subliminal message generator. If somebody has the money, they can get this stuff. If you have the money, you can get this stuff. Audio subliminal programming system. You gotta imagine 
This stuff's probably flooded on the black market. Progress record. Implantable trance, what does it say? Control behavior. Pets and microchips ID be injected into a marine pet. Look at that. Implanted transponder. They even got an instructional manual that teaches you how to put it in people and stuff and do it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Intel Connection and Security Division of IBM. Limited distribution, only confidential. So this was conf this report right here that we're reading was confidential at one time. Neural chip implant. In future, tiny chip may get under skin. Critics argue device invites Big Brother. Implantable biochips and... Implantable biochips and the end of human freedom. Stuff gets into cult. See, that's who has. See, see, this is what I was talking about earlier about cults. When it comes to gang stalking, if a group of individuals live with each other and they're around each other and they're part and they and they're coming up with these things to do to people, that's a cult. And money's exchanging hands and they're wearing red shirts. Stuff. That's exactly the definition of a cult. That's what a cult is. And cults are dangerous. Cults are cults. I research cults for years and cults are extremely dangerous that's one of the most dangerous groups you can ever come across because they go on group think and one step leads to another step that leads to another step that leads to another step and the cult doesn't really have control of itself and it spirals out of control quickly and before you know it it becomes a situation that's unmanageable and it's gone too far and people end up people end up in trouble people end up hurt people end up dead and so that's the problem with cults is they have their their uh, they have their own systems. They they create their own their own group think their own systems of laws and stuff. They have a, what I call a meeting of the minds, and it's almost like the end of Rome. Anything goes. Like when when Rome came to an end and Caesar was in Rome, anything went. Before that, Rome was really good. People paid their taxes. People were respectable. You know, it was a big city, so a lot of things went on. But at the end of Rome, just everything went everything went crazy out the window. And that's exactly what happens to cults. In the beginning, it might look good. It might look nice. And towards everything, it's just nothing at the end. It always They always destroy themselves. And there's dozens of cults. I mean, do there's thousands of cults. I mean, thousands of. 
All right, so you can get these. I'm going to leave the links up for this information. Again, I just want to show people about the um, some of the monkey, the pictures with the cat and the monkey. Just something about that I want to show people. <laughs> 